the, the, the greater good and particular focus on, um, on using identity to, um, to help facilitate uh, the provision of, of services. So we're going to hear from uh, Ryan Cho, uh, who's the product lead for identity at NTUC Enterprise uh, in, in Singapore. Uh, welcome, Ryan. Hi, John. Thanks. Thanks for welcoming. Let me um, yeah. please share my screen. Okay. I hope everyone is able okay. to see this. All looks good. All right. Then I will. Thanks, John. I'll mm. be taking over right away then. Okay. You want to put that in the presentation mode? Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. Um, just give me a while. I think something is happening. Let me try to share it again. Maybe it didn't like. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. All right. Right. Okay. Uh, thanks, everybody, uh, for having me at, at API Days um, Jakarta. And I'm here to talk to you about um, transforming customer identity to achieve uh, a greater social good, really, in NTUC Enterprise. So um, I'll be. Uh, giving a bit of a background of what NTUC Enterprise do uh, for th those of you that may not be familiar if you're not in Singapore because it's a very local uh, it's a very local social enterprise that uh, that that um, targets customer across different um, social needs and a bit of introduction about myself I'm Ryan Xiao and I'm um, the product lead of um, digital customer identity in uh, NTUC Enterprise itself so um, what what is NTUC Enterprise um, actually do, right? So NTUC Enterprise is um, at its basis, a group of social enterprises. So we take care of people um, from different age groups and uh, from different social needs to improve lives of their families and individuals in Singapore. Um, and we also provide accessible and affordable products to uh, meet basically a, a wide range of social needs. And you might wonder how wide is that? So NTC Enterprise consists of um, 10 um, little social enterprises in the entire group itself. So these social enterprises ranges from um, groceries to cooked foods and um, digital loyalty. And apart from that, there is also uh, when your kid were to uh, first go to school, your first education, we have something called First Campus that takes care of um, uh, preschool education as well. So uh, in terms of um, financial um, management, we also have NTUC income, which um, does your financial planning, your retirement planning, and your insurances. And when it comes to um, education, we also have learning help for uh, uh, for a different source of um, learnings for as an adult, you want to upskill, learning hub is your way to go. And we also have um, something called NTUC Health that takes care of um, elderly as well. And basically, we offer social um, services from um, crib to casket, <laughs> you may say that, right? So um, as a gist, we take care of people uh, in all aspects of their life. And, and if you might notice here, then what is the focus of um, us as a social enterprise is basically is customers. So our customers are uh, our basis of our social cause. If we don't know our customers, we don't know what to um offer them what's best and um, being a social enterprise and uh, having an aim of pr providing um, affordable living in the most expensive country, uh, one of the most expensive countries to live in, in Singapore, um, that uh, that plays a, a huge role uh, in terms of, you know, um, continue to uh, stay relevant and, and continue to, to provide that um, same social benefit for every, everyone in Singapore. So we are going through actually a digital transformation period as uh, a group of social enterprise. But um, 
I would, would like to drill down a bit more on customer identity in this uh in this uh, presentation, right? And why does we choose customer identity as a focus in um, digital transformation? I think there is um, a few um, very obvious uh, points on why, why is it uh, a focus. Basically, these are also a reflection of uh, existing or legacy weaknesses that we uh, are currently dealing with. The first point is on legacy. So um, as we have more than, uh, you know, 10 social enterprises to, to, uh, to manage our customer information. Existing customer identity management are uh, a legacy and they have no rooms for extension. So this becomes a big trouble where we would like to, you know, um, uh, look at a single customer view. We are unable to do so because everybody, uh, every, everybody is using a, a pretty old identity management system, which leads to the second point of an inconvenience to directly our customer uh, themselves. So by staying on legacy system, customers would definitely have a set of, you know, distinct login credentials on uh, each digital product that we offer. Um, you might end up having like 10 to 12 uh, or even 20 uh, different username and passwords to log into basically the same social enterprise that's trying to offer you um, the, the right social need, right? So. Um, that's really inconvenient. And on the business perspective, uh, is very inefficient for us as well because we cannot confidently uh, identify our customer across all digital products because you might have signed up with different credentials at different times of your life and you might have changed your mobile number, changed your contact information, and that becomes really, really in inefficient for us to uh, identify and um and basically provide you a more 360 degree view of, of you know, a uh, social uh, need tailored for you. So, so that's the why. And uh, I would like to give a very uh, quick example of like before transformation of digital identity. This is how um, a customer uh, would be onboarding to our platform. So that is, if you can see here, there's multiple login forms with different fields that we collect. On the left-hand side, you can see that we are collecting uh, company information for some of our business uh, platforms. And uh, extreme cases on the right, we are also allowing users to sign up uh, by filling up a paper form and then subsequently uh, entered into our system. So, so basically, this also um, extends to uh, uh, another layer of operational costs on maintaining um, different uh, authentication and and uh, and and basically uh, the first KYC of uh, how we know our customer and how we identify our customers, and that actually um, will definitely result in a lot of angry customers. And in in terms of you know the uh, the why of the focus of digitalizing uh, identity is really to fix at least the inconvenience and also the legacy uh, systems that we have in place. So um, we begin by, you know, burning this all down and uh, introducing a single login experience. So um, this is not really a rocket science. Basically, uh, uh, everyone is already um, doing this on um, digital front and um, NTUC Enterprise is uh, is basically uh, adopting this and 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 uh, looking at it for customers' convenience as well. So that's where we um, start to look at a single login experience over um, our social enterprises, starting with our uh, one of our um, biggest uh, customer base, which is um, Fair Price. So Fair Price is our uh, basically uh, the serve the bread and butter for everybody's uh, life uh, in Singapore. If you have been living in Singapore, you you would have heard of Fair Price. We, what we do is we offer um, uh, afford affordable um, groceries, uh, affordable household um, offerings as well, um, both offline and online. So Fair Price, um, being one of the the uh, the most used digital platform. We think it's good to start with um, introducing a single login experience to all our FairPrice customers first. 
And subsequently, this will be expanded to uh, all of our social enterprise by uh, basically providing a unified login experience for, for them as well. So expanding a bit more on this, right? Um, this single login experience is, um, is provided uh, by actually powered by one of our partners, uh, which is Off Zero. I think that they are they also have a virtual booth today um, at API Days. Do reach them out, and uh, yeah, basically we we partner with Off Zero uh, in uh, catalyzing our digital transformation or or providing the single login experience. So uh, in the security front, uh, we we totally rely on um, Off Zero's. Um, CSA star certification, which provides us out of box um, security. And in terms of experience and business logic, um, it's completely custom up to uh, our needs. So in this case, what you can see in the middle is that um, uh, it's a sort of a unified login view where you don't need to know if you have uh, an account or not. Basically, you enter your email or your mobile number, and the, the flow will guide you to either sign in or sign up into um, the, the experience itself. So um, you don't come into cases where, hey, I don't remember if I have a have a, an account or not. What do I do next, right? So um, this flow is uh, designed to be intuitive and designed to allow um, users to seamlessly access their account. And this will also be the unified view for all NTUC Enterprise Digital Services. The logo today you see is fair price, but then uh, in the future, this will continuously evolve when we uh, inclusively uh, expand it to all our social enterprises in the future. So uh, on the technology front, um, we also revamped or rather um, rewritten the entire identity platform from scratch uh, where we are uh, actively adopting serverless identity uh, or rather serverless technology for, for our backing services. So uh, if you can see in this very, very high level um, uh, architectural diagram, um, all of our front-facing APIs are, um, are provided in uh, a uh, AWS Lambdas and uh, fronted by our API gateways. So um, basically it gives um, the platform a very, uh, a very scalable, uh, nature where you can have um, basically you can have uh, from our testing itself I think it, it can even support up to like uh, 6,000 requests per second uh, at, at scale right so so basically a very efficient very uh, very futuristic um, architecture that we are looking at here for our, our digital transformed um, customer identity at the digital side of things so when we look at a single customer view, what does it really mean, right? So it also means that this um, identity become decentralized for all the businesses. And if you look at the diagram in the middle, and uh, you have a master record where you have uh, all your base profiles, for example, your uh, your name, your contact information, um, whether um, your your uh, delivery addresses and things like that, but. Um, how does the other businesses uh, deal with customer data that are specific to their businesses? So we are adopting uh, something we call a federated identity model um, where we have a master record, but you still have your own customer records provided that um, your, your customer ID is packed uh, with the master customer ID. So for business specific data, you can still um, you can still store it at your own um, discretion, and if if there is a specific data that uh, picks inter uh, the interest of the bigger group, for example, um, there is uh, one specific field that you know um, the other social enterprise might be interested uh, in having access to, then we might elevate this at the um, single customer level. So. Uh, all in all, if you look at um, this diagram, basically all the other businesses will be interfacing with our single um, identity uh, platform via uh, APIs. And we are now looking at just the internal um, identity transformation. We are also looking at you know uh, expanding this into um, the into the the third party uh, integrations as well. So providing um, 
uh, log in with NTUC as a single sign-on option, um, like SingPass, if you uh, if you have been um, uh, familiar with their product in Singapore as well. Yeah, so that's um, that's the that's the stage that we are looking at right now. And what exactly is the businesses uh, benefiting from from this? Right, I think. Um, one most important uh, point from marketing perspective is we uh, we are able to uh, have a single customer view of all the cross channel uh, via all the cross channel tracking and and marketing. Basically, um, you can even achieve a, a scenario like this where um, if you uh, if I touch would have diabetes um, and I consented to share my information across the social group. Um, uh, basically, on on um, health front or on grocery fronts, I can be recommended with uh, with maybe diets that are recommended to me to be you know low in uh, low in sugar. So um, to achieve to achieve the cross channel personalization of your experience, uh, as well as the social service that we provide as well. And secondly, we're looking at also you know we can track. Uh, and identify customer across channels and not exposing personal identifiable informations. So if you see the previous slide, um, the personal identifiable uh, informations are all centralized in the master record. We can um, we, we, we don't need to you know uh, channel this information uh, across all the social enterprises for uh, operations to, to run uh, as business as usual. So we eliminate the need of uh, exposing uh, PIIs to, uh, to 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 different systems as well, and that also lowers our exposure to um, to security threats as well. And finally, um, yeah, uh, I think it's both of the points together strengthening our cybersecurity by having only one access point as well. So our biggest challenge on customer identity transformation for uh, social enterprises is that we have a huge group of um, customers that are not digitally connected because we take care of um, customer social needs from all stages of life, different ages, different uh, level of tech um, knowledge. And most of them can be uh, non-tech savvy or they don't even have a mobile phone to begin with uh, to reach out to. So on our... on social enterprise front we are continuously I, I innovating to you know digitally connect these customers that um that may not require them to know how to use the technology so in in uh, an example of you know um if you have a mobile number you can be a digital uh digitally connected customer by um uh, continuously profiling your information through um various ways that 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 we might be able to uh, uh connect you digitally so this remains one of the biggest challenge uh, for us as a social enterprise. And um, that's all that I'm uh, sharing today. Um, there's my LinkedIn profile on the, on the right-hand side of the slide. And also a special shout out to Off0 for uh, inviting me to the uh, API Days as a speaker today. And um, I'll probably see you at the round table uh, later today as well. Yeah, back to you, John. So thanks very much, Ryan. I, I just have a couple of questions, actually, um, because I, I found it interesting that you've actually used the digital identity as a key enabler for establishing the single customer view. It's not yeah. just about security. It's not just about um, how do I verify that it is who I, I'm talking about, but you've got lots of different parts of your your business, of, of your enterprise, and the uh, the digital identity is really the glue that helps you to stitch together the um, the, the different um, services that you pro provide to the same to the same people. Um, I had a question a little bit about the um, the non digitally savvy or non digitally connected uh, yep. customers. I'd be very interested to understand what you're what you're doing to help serve them in in Singapore. Um, we're all contact tracing. We have a trace together app on our phone. Every time we go into and out of a building, we have to scan the QR code. But the Singapore government has uh, provided um, tags for 
um, for people who are not digitally connected, uh, usually uh, older older citizens, and um, that's that's a government initiative. Um, but I, I guess the this, this same problem occurs in in countries around the the region that we have uh, varying levels of digital identity available for enterprises to uh, to identify their their customer. So I'd be very curious as to what what your thinking is in, in terms of helping those non-digital uh, customers to connect. Right. So I think um, for Singapore, we are very fortunate that uh, we're living in uh, uh, a country where, you know, um, digital access is very easy, um, even though a lot of our, uh, our residents may not be tech savvy, right? So um, in uh, at the perspective of, for um, for NTUC enterprise, right? So um, the the kind of uh, ways that we are looking at the problem of non digitally connected customers are um, also trying to uh, uh, look at the demography of these customers. Where you know, um, I think Singaporeans uh, especially would love uh, things to do with rewards and loyalty. So the loyalty front would be one of the the biggest drive for um, at least you know. Um, uh, let one each one of these customers hold at least a loyalty card, you know, where they might fill up a paper form. They might um uh they might basically uh sign up sign up uh, a loyalty card just because um they can get some some discounts. And um with that information, we can um still still identi- uh, identify customers through through that front as well. Um and then secondly as well. Um, it, because it's Singapore as well, I think um, the, the demographics is a little bit um, different that we can also provide um, technology in-store r- rather than, you know, having a digital device with you. So you can imagine a scenario where um, you just need to uh, enter your mobile number at a store and um, basically you can uh, access your digital identity, you can access your profile, uh, so on and so forth on, on that, that front. And with the help of all the... Uh, all the fronts of different social enterprises by providing at least an interface uh, for these non-digitally connected customers to come in, uh, we might be able to build a profile stronger than we can ever imagine. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, thanks. Uh, thanks for sharing that uh, that perspective. 